Well, this mutual of Omaha duel in the pool has truly come down to the closing stages. The first time in six duels that this has happened. The United States trailing entering the final individual event. It will not be decided. It's going to go to the relays. But the United States wants to position themselves as they have a strong field coming out in this 200 IM. Cody Miller, Chase Kalish, Connor Dwyer, Tyler Clary. And there'll also be four representing the European All-Stars. Roberto Pavoni from Great Britain. David Barrasco, Hungary, placed third in the 400 IM earlier in the duel. Another versatile veteran swimmer from Germany, Yannick Levhertz. He was fifth in the 400 IM. And the guy has been a very good breaststroke swimmer, going to take a cracker at the IM. Marco Koch will be in lane eight. Rowdy, the United States is down three. How much can they gain in this? event every scenario best case worst case for the United States I had them going first and third first and second no worse than first and third and Chase Kalish and Connor Dwyer those are the two key guys here Tyler Clary has been very busy today I don't think he's going to be in it Cody Miller although a very good I am -er, mainly a breaststroker I think Kalish and Dwyer are the two guys now Dwyer has been a busy guy here also, and has really been one of the MVPs for this American team. He's done everything they've asked him to do, but they've got to at least go 1-3 here, and that way they can split the relays, and then it would go to a tiebreak. All right, the first 50, Let Hertz of Germany for Team Europe had the lead. Well, Lever's not taking any breathing room here. He's going right after. He's a good backstroker, too. He's a great front half. Now, he doesn't have the back half of a Connor Dwyer or a Chase Kalish, but boy, he's got a good front half. And right now, there he is doing a good job of getting the Europeans out front. If they win, oh, that means the Americans are going to have to win both relays. Well, that's the importance of this, and Connor Dwyer in the middle now starting to make a move in the breaststroke. They, they really need to go 1-3 here, Ted. That's what it boils down to. The Americans have to at least go 1-3. If they do that, they only have to split the relays, and they're favored heavily in the men's, not in the women. And boy, right now, it's all Connor Dwyer, the key guy right there. Watch him come off this wall. That's Chase Kalers. Can he pull out a third place finish? Pavoni in lane two is also swimming well for Team Europe. Connor Dwyer has the lead. He's got a decent lead coming home. Kalish can see Dwyer to his right, but can he see Pavoni to his left? And Marco Koch coming on strong at eight. It's Connor Dwyer, and the United States gets one and three. Pavoni at the end by six one hundreds grabs second for Team Europe. And this duel is dead even going to the relays. This is one heck of an exciting meet. I don't care if you don't like swimming or not. This is so cool. I tell you, when it goes down to the last relay, here's the halfway point. Boy, you've got to give it to Lebers. I mean, totally out of it. He was fifth in the 400 IM, nowhere near the lead. He, would, he had the guts to take it out to get in there, but here's Connor Dwyer. What a swimmer this guy is. I, I just cannot brag about this guy enough to be able to go in here and do what he's been able to do for the United States men, and then Chase Kalish right there at the end, just out touches Coke at the bottom. That's the difference between a tie and perhaps the Europeans winning well, this duel in the pool. Who saved Europe there, Roberto Pavoni, with that strong finish. Otherwise, the Americans had a chance to go 1-2 yep. and would have had the lead.